British Army patrol pack and large pack, often called a Bergen, have loops on the back for stowing away the waist strap. These can be used to fasten on the back pad to keep the back of the rucksack away from the back of the carrier. If you decide that this system works for you, you can cut the end of the fold over and pass it through the two loops at the bottom front of the rucksack and then fasten the buckle. This makes the whole system even more secure. Alternatively, if you're not sure you want to do that, you can use a piece of rolled up camper mat, insert it into these loops and try it out. If it doesn't work, you've lost nothing. If it does work, you can make it more permanent by covering it with tape and strapping it down. Cheap clear plastic pencil cases can be used for collecting and holding a number of small items. It makes them semi waterproof, keeps them clean. You can keep the items together in one place in any pack large or small and you can see what's in there and what needs to be replaced. Similarly, coloured pencil cases can be used to colour code your equipment. For example, the yellow exercise washing kit. Fabric pencil cases are good for irregular items and like the others are good for storing in small side packs. You can semi vacuum pack plastic ziplock bags by almost sealing them then using some sort of tube or a biro top to suck out the air before finally sealing it. It's not completely shrink wrapped but it goes a long way towards it which makes things easier to prepare for packing and storage. If you have a set of disparate packs that don't really match try colouring them using fabric, decorating and auto spray paints. Spray them to the pattern you need, assemble them together and use them in the field. As well as colouring packs to your liking you can change the colour of assault vests and other load carrying equipment. While you're on your travels use your camera to record the location of any fruit trees that you come across. When you get home, transfer the information to a map ready for harvest time. Graphite from pencils are good for lubricating zips, but so too are wax china graph pencils. They help the zip run smoothly as well. These pre-charged iodine swabs are fairly cheap off the internet. They're well packed and that's the problem. They're difficult to get open in the field under field conditions. So where I've marked the blue on the cartridges I'm going to put a small cut which allows you to open them far more easily. Hopefully these hints and tips will be of use to you. But anyway Get out there, get training, you know it makes sense, it will serve you well.